Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. We're ready. You are ready. Okay, fantastic. Uh, welcome, yes, to, ready. welcome to my class. My name's Jose Angel Rodriguez. I will be your teacher in this class, okay? Uh, let me introduce myself, okay? Hello, everybody. My name's, let me see, I'm going to share the screen because it's not, I'm not sharing the screen right now, so for you to see. Okay. So you can see it there. Uh, hello, everybody. My name's Jose Angel Rodriguez. I'm Salvatorian. I live in San Salvador. I'm 55 years old. I'm a teacher. Nice to meet you and welcome you to this class. Okay. Welcome to class. Okay. Good uh, noches, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Very good. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Welcome to class. Okay. Yes, of course, we're going to say good evening, okay? See? Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, hello. Nice to meet you, welcome to the class, okay? This class is a beginner's too, right? Beginners too. So let's begin. Okay. Buenas noches a todos. Le voy a, le voy a hablar un poquito de español para que entremos en materia. Poco a poco vamos a ir hablando menos español porque la idea es que nos acostumbremos a hablar más inglés que español, ¿verdad? Mi nombre es José Ángel Rodríguez. Estoy aquí para ayudarles en todo lo que sea posible. Si ustedes tienen preguntas acerca de pronunciación, acerca de lo que estamos aprendiendo, cómo se dice algo, cómo se usa, cómo se pronuncia, pregúntenme, no tengan pena. Eh, si saben cómo levantar la mano aquí en el programa, levanten su manita ¿verdad? y pregunten. Si no saben cómo levantar su manita, activen su, su audio y hagan la pregunta. Y yo con mucho gusto estaré eh, contestándola y ayudándole en lo que yo pueda. ¿Okay? Eso sería con respecto a la introducción. Algo que me gustaría eh, recalcar, enfatizar y pedirles, por favor, es que entren a su plataforma y que trabajen, eh, aún principalmente viernes, que no hay clases, ¿verdad? Tratemos de hacer todo lo que podamos ese día y todos los días, pues, o sea, que subamos, entremos a la plataforma, hagamos los ejercicios, veamos los videos y si hay algo ahí que no entendemos, anotemos, hagamos una anotación ahí en, en un cuaderno o en una paginita y en clase, sin temor alguno, pregunten. Eh, de hecho, yo estoy aquí para ayudarles, ¿ok? Esta es su clase, no es mi clase, es la suya. Entonces, siéntanse cómodos, sin temor alguno, y hagan las consultas que ustedes consideren pertinentes. ¿okay? Eh, yo con gusto les ayudo, ¿ok? Para eso me pagan. <risa> Para eso me pagan, para que les ayude, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, no digan ustedes, ay, que voy a molestar al teacher. Moléstenme si para eso estoy, <ríe> ¿ok? Para que me pregunten. Aprovechen la oportunidad porque es solamente una hora. Y en una hora, pues, no sé mucho, ¿verdad? Entonces, aprovechemos de preguntar y uh, avanzar en lo que podamos, ¿ok? ¿Consulta alguna duda de, de empezar? 
No, no tienen dudas, no, no hay consultas. Yo tengo yes. una. Sí, Oscar, <ríe> díganme. Eh, con respecto a la asistencia, no sé si ya pasó asistencia o se hace al final de la clase. Ok, le voy a contestar así. Ojalá que sea una buena respuesta para usted. Eh, el programa está siendo grabado. Entonces, eh, en la grabación, ahí queda el número de alumnos que asistieron. Eh, sale quiénes estuvieron y quiénes no, aparece el listado. De hecho, se puede descar descargamos, más bien dicho, descargamos la asistencia. Entonces, ahí sabemos quién estuvo presen presente y quién no, ¿verdad? Esa es la forma. No voy nombre por nombre llamando a cada uno porque toma tiempo y también es innecesario y no es eficiente. Sin embargo, el programa lo hace por mí, ¿verdad? Entonces, créanme cuando les digo que se toma la asistencia automáticamente. ¿Ok? ¿Contesta su pregunta? Sí, sí, sí. Gracias. Teacher, una duda. Con respecto a la, bueno, al curso anterior, eh, llevábamos un libro aparte de, este, de la clase y de la plataforma. Mi duda es, ¿se nos dará otra guía ahora o trabajaremos nada más con la plataforma? Gracias. Ok, muy buena pregunta. ¿Podría usted decirme qué libro utilizaron? Eh, estábamos utilizando el Interchange. Mm -hmm. Ok. La pregunta se la voy a contestar en el WhatsApp. Ok. Me escribe al WhatsApp y me hace la pregunta. La voy a contestar ahí. Será mejor hacerlo por ahí. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Eh, y no se preocupe por material. Material de apoyo. Ustedes necesitan. Escriban. Y con gusto yo les comparto. ¿Ok? Sí, eh, no, no, no le entendí lo que me dijo. ¿Puede repetírmelo, por favor? Ok, hágame la pregunta. Con respecto a la plataforma, se dice que los tipos de es el no se entiende. La verdad es que se, se, se distorsiona un poco, soy un poco metalizado el sonido, eh, pero sí es con respecto a la plataforma. Voy, voy a tratar de adivinar qué me quiso preguntar acerca de la plataforma, porque sería al, algo así al estilo, perdón, ¿verdad? al estilo como transforma En el chat puede hacer la pregunta. Ah, también puede hacer la pregunta en el chat, sí. Mm -hmm. eh, sí, porque se oye metalizado el sonido. Entonces, no podría contestarle, pero puedo anticiparle algo. Con respecto a la plataforma, eh, si usted avanza un 80%, o sea, si gana un 80%, a partir de ahí, le, le puede generar un certificado. ¿okay? Eh, no le aparecerá el botón de generar certificado antes de que usted logre el 80%. Eh, y eso más o menos toma cierto tiempo, aunque usted haya completado la plataforma, digamos, en la primera semana. Dudo que le salga el botón de generar certificado en esa semana porque los proveedores creo que lo, lo manejan de otra forma. Sin embargo, eh, eh, a partir ya del, de la tercera semana, yo creo que ya puede generar un certificado. Es posible que usted ya haya concluido, porque 
en la segunda semana tenemos el examen, el midterm, ¿verdad? El examen intermedio, o sea, el, el de mediados de mes. Eh, ya después de eso, vamos a ir al final. Algunas personas toman el final ya teniendo un 80% lo bueno, que eso es, sería lo, lo mejor para todos. Eh, Ok. ¿Alguna otra preguntita? Gracias. Gracias. Oh, sí se lo entendí. <risa> Pero mm. lo demás no lo entendí. Ok. Eh, También me pueden hacer consultas en el, en, en el chat de WhatsApp. Pueden consultarme y también eh, si ustedes necesitan explicación acerca de algún tema o necesitan material para ese tema, también pregunten, ¿verdad? Y estoy dispuesto a ayudarles, con mucho gusto. Ok, let's begin. Um, introduce yourself. How? With this formula. Hello, hello everybody. My name is, you say your name. I'm Salvadorian, I live in, you say the city. I'm your name. And the occupation. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, so who wants to begin? Blanca del Carmen Hernandez. Okay, please go ahead. Begin. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Yolanda. I am Salvadorian. I live in Lourdes. I am 51 years old. I am a teacher. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. And welcome to class, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, I have two other, two other volunteers. Okay, please speak freely. Hello, everybody. Uh -huh. My name is William Vasquez. I'm Salvadorian. I live in Izalco. I'm 21 years old. I am a student. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, and welcome to the class. Okay. Thank you. Oscar. Hello, everybody. My name is Oscar Lopez. I am Salvadorian. I live in Cincinnati. I am 21 years old. I am a student. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Then, Peter. Alberto Hernandez Ponce. Hello, everybody. My name is Tito Alberto. I am Salvadorian. I live in Conchagua City. I am 48 years old. I am a tourist guide. Uh, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too. Okay, nice to meet you too. Okay, thank you very much. David Villatoro. No. Okay, then Rolando Alexander. Rolando Hello. Alexander. Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Alexander Hernandez. I am Salvadorian. I live in Chalatenango. I am 35 years old. Uh, I am a teacher and of of, uh, of computer. Excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks. Okay. Sarah Nicole Mejia. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Nicole. I am Salvadorian. I live in Sonsonate City. I am 18 years old. I am a student and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Okay, Jennifer Patricia Martinez. 
Hello, everybody. My name is Jennifer. I am Salvadorian. I live in San Juan Pico. I am 24 years old. I am a teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yes, welcome to the class. Jessica. Hello, everybody. My name is Jessica Contreras. I am Salvadorian. I live in Puerto La Libertad. I am 29 years old. I am a student. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So you live in Puerto de la Libertad. Yes, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Evelyn Ramos. Hello, everybody. My name is Evelyn. I am Salvadorian. I live in Sonsonate. I am 26 years old. Mm -hmm. I am my employee. Nice to meet you. And welcome to the class. Okay. Mirna Mercedes Hernandez. Hello, everybody. My name is Mirna Herrador. I am Salvador. I live in La Union. I am uh, 24 years old. I am engineer of system. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to the class. Okay, David Villatoro. Hello, David Villatoro. No. Okay, Raul Quintanilla. Hello, everybody. My name is Raul Quintanilla. Uh, I am a Salvadorian. I live in Soyapango. Uh, I am uh, 28 years old. Uh, I am a, a student. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, and welcome to the class. Okay. Uh, Evelyn Ramos. No, Evelyn Ramos, no. No more hands. Buenas noches. Este, ¿Se me escucha? Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, sí, sí, tenía desconfigurada la, la computadora, lo siento. No, no problem. Y a toro, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, he hello, everybody. My name is David Villatoro. I am Salvadorian. I live in Soyapango. I'm 20, uh, 29 years old. I am uh, a student. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to the class. Okay. David, right? David Villatoro. Okay. So welcome to the class. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Uh, does anybody else want to introduce himself or herself? Hello, everybody. My name is Carolina Chavez. I am in Salvadorian. I live in San Salvador. Uh, I am 42 years old. And I am um, a business administration. Nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you too, okay? Nice to meet you too. Okay. I have three other people. You may- Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Wendy Ayala. I am Salvadorian. I live in Sonsonate. I am 31 years old. I am biologist. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you too. A biologist, excellent. Yes, very good. Nice. Welcome to the class. Okay, the next one. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. My name is Sandra Rodriguez. I am Salvadoran. I live in San Marcos. I am 60 years old. Mm -hmm. I am a count. An accountant? And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome nice to meet you too. Okay. Welcome to the class. Thanks. Yes. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. The next one. Hello, everybody. Okay. 
Silvia Escobar. Okay, go ahead, please. Yes. Hello, everybody. My name is Silvia Escobar. I am Salvadorian. I live in San Martin. I am 40 years old. I am a chef. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And welcome to the class. Uh, there was a gentleman too before. Okay, now you may speak, my friend. Hello, everybody. My name is Marlon Fuentes. I am Salvadorian. I live in Delgado City. I am 42 years old. I am a chemistry laboratory. Nice to meet you, you. Nice to meet you too, Marlon. Welcome to the class. Yes, it's a privilege to have you in class. Okay. Let's see now. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. Okay. The next one, who's the next one? Me, hello everybody. My name is Alejandra, I'm Salvadorian. I live in San Salvador. I'm 29 years old and I'm an employee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes, nice to meet you too. Okay, I guess there is one more. Hello, everybody. My name is Rolando Guzman Revelo. I am Salvadorian. I live in Antiguo Cuscatlán City. I am 52 years old. I am a training technician. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And welcome to the class, right? Welcome to Thanks. The class. You're welcome. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome, my friend. Okay, who else would like to introduce himself? All right, no more people, then let's continue. Uh, let's begin, because what I have here, Raul Quintanilla, I don't know if he can hear. No, he already, you already introduced yourself, right? Yes, from Soyapango, yes? Yes, okay. Well, then let's continue. Section one, conversation, nice car. You see, hey, wow, what a nice set of wheels. Okay, say, uh-huh, who's that? A nice car, beautiful car. Okay, what's your favorite brand of car? Feature brand? Toyota, eh, Honda, Honda Civic, or I don't know. Hyundai Kia. Hey, exactly. Hyundai, Kia, all of those. What's your favorite? Ford. Mm -hmm. Ford. Ford. Chevrolet. Yes. BMW. Ferrari. W. Maserati. Ferrari. Dutch. Lamborghini. Audi. Lamborghini, Audi, <laughs> of course, of course, yes. Aha, okay. Ya me apantallaron, yes? You know a lot about, a lot of brands of cars. Excellent, very good. So we're going to be working on vocabulary for transportation, transportation vocabulary. Today is Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. Okay, and this level is the beginner two. Okay, let's see. Transportation. The purpose is to describe how to get to work or in how to go to work, get to work, go to work. Or sometimes not necessarily to work, but just to get around. Get around, you say, teacher, what is get around? To move, move in the city. Moverse in la ciudad, right? Move around, get around. How do you get around? You say, oh, I get around by bus, okay? I get around by bus. I get around by car. I get around by taxi, if you have money, okay? It's possible. 
And some people say I get around. I get around. By bus. Okay, I get around by bus. Let me change the, the color. Perhaps this is much better. Let me see a darker one, darker shade would be much better. Okay, let's see, I get around by bus. Okay, you may say I get around by taxi. So these are the questions. How do you go to work? How do you get to work? I go to work by bus. I get to work by bus. How do you go to work? How do you go to work? I go to work by bus. How do you get to work? I get to work by car. Okay. Other ways to say it. I walk to work. I drive to work. I take the bus to work. I take a train to work. Or I take a taxi or I take a pickup truck. In our country, it's also common to take a pickup truck. Okay, before we practice this, let's have the information. Oops, it disappeared. Uh -huh. It seems like um, something was, yeah, I know what happened. Don't worry, I'm going to share, share it again. Uh, I think that another process finished. Let's see. Okay, the other process finished already, so that's okay. Let me close this screen. Okay. The bar moves to the top, so it blocks. Okay, but you can see it, right? You can see the presentation. Okay. Let's see. First, we have a car, airplane, taxi, train, bus, truck, yacht. This is pronounced only like this, yat. The CH is silent. So you say yat, yat. Okay. Yat, bicycle, helicopter, pickup truck, boat, motorcycle. So again, car, airplane, taxi, train, bus, truck, yacht, bicycle, helicopter, pickup truck, boat, and motorcycle. Okay, so, but the question is, how do you get to work? And we say, I drive, okay? So, I drive, okay? Or I walk, so you say more like, I walk. So I walk, I take the bus, I take the subway, I take the train, I ride a bicycle, I ride a motorcycle, or I take a taxi. Okay, repeat of me, I drive. I ride. I drive. I drive. I drive. I drive. I drive. I walk. 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 I take the bus. 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 The subway. I take the subway. I take the subway. I take the subway. 
Like take the subway. Underground. Like um, in England, the underground. So the subway. I take the train. I take the train. I take the train. I take the train. A bicycle. I ride a motorcycle. I ride a motorcycle. I take a taxi. I take a taxi. Okay, very good. Volunteers to tell me how you get to work. How do you get to work? How do you? How do you to work? I die to work. Uh -huh. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? You tell me one I of take you. a taxi. I take a taxi. Excellent. I take a taxi. You have money. Okay. You have money. <laughs> I taxi. drive my car. Oh, you drive your car and you have more money. Okay? So continue. I take the bus. I, I take the bus. You take the bus. I, I take, take the bus. bus. I take the bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take it's the bus. Expensive. Yes, exactly. It's more I expensive. Take the bus of the company. Oh, you take the company bus. Take the company bus. Okay. Excellent. Work. You walk. walk. Okay. That's cheaper, but it's tiring. Okay. It's cheaper, but it's tiring, right? So you feel tired, tired at the end. Uh -huh. But it's good exercise. It's very good exercise. Okay. Excellent. It's excellent. It's exercise, ex exercise is very good for us, it's very good for our body. Exactly. So we repeat. I drive. I walk. I drive. I I ride a motorcycle. I take a taxi. Okay, excellent. Very good. That's great. Nice. Okay. So let's move on. Oh, we have a conversation here. Okay. Let's listen to the conversation. Listen. Okay. Listen only. Listen. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job. She drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation, the bus or the train. The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay. Suburbs. What are the suburbs? We have the principal city, right? We have the city. San Salvador. Okay. San Salvador, the commercial district. Okay. San Salvador. Around San Salvador, there are habitations. There are places where people go to sleep because they normally go to work in one place and they go home principally to sleep. Those are the suburbs around the city, right? Suburbs. Okay, downtown. Downtown is the central part of the city, okay? Downtown. Okay, uh, do you have any questions about the dialogue? Questions about the dialogue? Sandra, do you have questions about the dialogue? Oh, Sandra fell asleep. Sorry, Sandra, you are very tired, okay? Very tired. Do you have a question? No. 
No question. Yeah. Sure. Yes, do you have a question? <laughs> okay, no question. All right. Uh, volunteers to read the conversation. Who like to read? Um, uh, who wants to be Ashley? One person is Ashley, the other person is Jason. Volunteers? Okay, yes. I have um, Rolando and I have uh, Ruth. But uh, Ruth disappeared from here. Okay, so Ro Rolando and Ruth, please. Rolando is Jason and Ruth is Ashley. Okay, you may begin. They okay. Nice car, Jason. It, it is yours? Oh, it's my sister's. She has a new job. She tries to work. Is his job? Here in the sub suburbs? suburbs? No, no, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public tra transportation. The bus or the train? The train does stop near her house. Or so house. they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Yes, very good. That's great. Okay, now Mirna. Mirna is Ashley, and I need uh, maybe Raul to be Jason. Okay. Yes. Okay, you may. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You may begin. Yes. My car, Jason, is true? No, it's my sister. She has a new hope. She drives to work. She has all her in the book? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. Mm -hmm. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near her house. Should they take the bus? It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So you say like job, the job, downtown, our, here, our, transportation, Downtown. Okay. Is it yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. We have Oscar. Would you like to be Jason, please? And Nuria. Would you like to be Ashley? Okay. Nice. Nice car, Jason. Is it is yours? No, it's, it's my sister. She has a new job. She drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, excellent, very good. That's great, that's nice. Now the next one, Jennifer, would you like to be Ashley? And uh, one boy to be Jason? Okay, well, it can be a girl. Nice car, Jason. Okay. It, it is yours. Is, uh -huh, is it yours? Maybe Nicole wants to be Jason. Mm -hmm. No, it's my sister's. She has a new job. She drives to work. Is her job her in the suburbs? Mm -hmm. No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They, they use a 
public transportation. Mm -hmm. The bus or the train? The, the drying down stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really so slow. That's so, that's too bad. Excellent, very good. Yes, nice, okay. Let's see, one idea to say here, okay. Here, sometimes it's difficult to pronounce, okay. But you may say more like he, her, okay. Or we'll say like, that is not an exact pronunciation, but it may guide you at, the, at least at the beginning, okay? So more like here, mm -hmm. oops, let me see. Oh, okay, there it goes. More like here, here, right? They use public transportation. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, good job. Now, Norma Chavez, would you like to be Ashley? And maybe Yolanda would like to be Jason. Okay. And okay. Then, yes. Nice car, Jackson. Is yours? Is it yours? No. Mm -hmm. No, it's it your... No, it's my sister's. She has a new job. She drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use it public tra transportation. Uh, the bus or the train? Mm -hmm, the bus. The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay. Thank you very much. That's very good. Good job. Now, Jessica, would you like to be Ashley? And uh, maybe that David Villatoro would like to be Jason? No, Star, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job. Joe, she drives to work. It's her. How her? Here in the suburbs. Is her job here in the suburbs? Is, is her, is her job, 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 job here in the suburbs? Here in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. No, it's the town. My, pa my parents were the town, but they don't drive to work. They use the public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Excellent, very good, that's nice. Okay, um, congratulations. Okay, making mistakes is normal, okay? Equivocarse es común y es normal. Okay, es, háganlo con ánimo y con ganas. Felicidades, okay, excellent. Very good, continue. And you Thank have you, to good job, good job, very good. Okay, next volunteers. Yes. Who is the next? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, Tito Albert yes. is Jason, and we have who is saying yes? Okay. I hear someone saying yes. Who is saying yes? Okay. Alberto is Jason. Who wants to be Ashley? Okay. Begin, please. Uh, Nice, nice car, Jason. Is yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job. She drives to work. 
Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't try to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, excellent. Very good. Great job. Nice. Okay, maybe Sylvia would like to be Ashley. And uh, who wants to be Jason? Nice car, Jason. It is yours. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be Jason? No, it's my sister. She has a new job. She tried to work. Is her job here in the suburb? Mm -hmm. No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus it is really slow. That's the bad. And good, good job. That's great. Okay. <laughs> Who else wants to do it? All right. I guess no more. Let's continue then. So do you have any questions about this? Okay, let's see. We have simple present tense. The simple present tense is normally very easy to, uh, to do. We have something that we call the subject, okay? It's like the name of the person. The verb that is an action most of the time, not always, but most Time and we have something that we can consider like a comp. Okay, so we say this. The subjects are this I, you, we, they. I, you, we, and they. Okay, he, she, it, and everybody are other subjects. With the first part, I, you, we, and they, we use the verb simple as it appears, ride. But with he, she, it, and everybody, or everything, nothing, something, etc., we use the S, drives. That is not plural. That's not plural. That is a distinction that the verb has. So we say, I ride a motorcycle, you ride a bicycle. We ride a horse, they ride a bicycle, they ride a motorcycle. Or we say, he drives a car, she drives a truck, he drives a taxi, it, yes, the robot, ah, okay. Everybody drives a bus. So normally we use he and she because those are the people, no? And the it could be an animal, could be a thing. Everybody, all the people. So he drives a car, he or she drives a truck, she drives a taxi, she drives a bus, okay? Like this. Now, some examples that we have are Mark flies a plane, Tony drives to work, Bill walks to school, Mary rides a motorcycle to work. We go to work by bus. So you say, go to work, we put it together and we say, we go to work, go to work. We go to work by bus. I ride a motorcycle to work. Janet takes a train to work. They study the lesson every day. They practice sports on weekends. You live downtown. He works at the supermarket. They go jogging every morning and I play basketball with friends. In this sentence, there is a mistake. What's a mistake? 
capital letter. There is a capital letter. Okay, there is a capital letter at the beginning in the sentences. In the middle of the sentence, no. Only if it's a proper noun. What's teacher, proper noun? Yes, names, Ma Maria, Pedro, Julio. Those are capital letters. Teacher, we say capital letters? P, B, M, okay? Those are capital letters. Small letters, P, M, B. So, okay. Small letter. Capital letters, small letters, right? Capital letters and small letters. So, capital letters in the middle of the sentence? Mm -mm, no. This is a mistake, okay? It's a mistake. So, it's a mistake. So we cannot put them in that way, all right? So that would be the idea. Okay, these are the examples. Flies, drives, walks, rides, go to work, ride a bicycle, takes, study, practice, live, works, go jogging, and play basketball. Okay, you say, teacher, what is go jogging? Is similar to running, running. But for exercise, running for exercise. In the morning, people go jogging, right? They put a headband and they go jogging. They put headphones, the bottle of water, and they go jogging. Do you go jogging in the morning? Or do you go jogging in the afternoon? Or do you go jogging? No. Yes? No, no, no idea. Okay. So these are the things. Do you have any questions so far? No questions. No question. Okay, excellent. Then let's move on, okay? We have here some, some expressions, okay? Listen to the pronunciation of these expressions. Okay, these expressions, all you have to do is write something here. Watch TV, do exercise, go out with friends, play basketball, study the lesson, go to work, read a book, do homework, study for an exam, eat out, take a shower, eat lunch, listen to music, play soccer, make lunch, go jogging, ride a bike, send text messages, use the computer, talk with friends, watch videos, Take pictures, drive to work, drive to work, meet friends, drink soda, wear jeans, have a big family, drink water, see the doctor, go shopping, go for a walk, visit relatives, like cake, love swimming, practice sports, Watch sports on TV. Okay, we're going to think about three elements, three of this, even though we don't have much time, but we can write here I, that would be the subject for me. And you say, I watch TV, I do exercise, I go jogging, I watch videos. Okay, volunteers. Which of these activities do you do? Um, I, I watch TV. Mm -hmm. I tell with friends. Yeah. I visit relative. I practice the sports. Excellent. Thank you, Norma. Thank you very much. Somebody else? 
I running um, two, two, two twice a, a week. Twice a week, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all right. Thank you very much. Somebody else? I what? read a book. I read a book. Excellent. What else? I watch videos. Mm -hmm. What else do we do? I go shopping. Okay, great. Okay, thank you very much. How about Mariana? What do you do? I drum soda. I wear jeans. Mm -hmm. and I like it. I like cake. I like, I, I like it. <laughs> okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Great. Somebody else? Yes, Nicole. I do exercise, I practice sports, and I talk with my friends. Okay, excellent, very good, thank you very much. Jessica? Uh, I go to TV. Okay. Um, I go shopping. Mm -hmm. um, I I practice for. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. Alberto. Uh, I watch TV every day. Mm -hmm. uh, um, read a book in the, in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Uh, yes, um, practice sport in the evening. Mm -hmm. um, um, study in the night or at night. At night. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Okay. Uh, we're going to stop here tonight. Today we studied just the introduction to simple present. Tomorrow we will continue. Thank you very much for attending. Thank you very much for coming to class. Uh, tomorrow we're going to continue practicing and I expect you to be here. Okay, good night. God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Okay, Bye. Good night. Thanks, good night. teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Be good, take care. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Yeah, of course.